I think both vaccines have been proven to be safe. Yeah. And at least now I know both vaccines seem to work reasonably well. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Jameel. Uh, first, I wanted to ask you uh, the basics, really. Can you, can you tell us about the Covaxin results from yesterday? What does this uh, preliminary data really mean? Yes. So, as you are aware, Covaxin, which is made by Bharat Biotech, is an inactivated viral vaccine, which means that the whole virus is taken mm. and uh, killed using a chemical. Mm. And that is formulated into a vaccine. Uh, the phase three results, uh, the interim analysis came yesterday. Uh, interim analysis simply means that the earliest time point at which the code can be broken mm. to find out who's in the placebo and who's in the vaccine group uh, to calculate efficacy. Uh, so that period is uh, that period is uh, two months, mm. uh, and it has happened at the two month time point. Yeah. Uh, this result shows that in this two month period, there were 46 uh, people who had COVID uh, in, the, in the trial population. And when they broke the code, they found that I believe 36 of them were in the placebo group and seven were in the uh, vaccine group. So based on that, the efficacy has been calculated to 80.6% or let's say 81%. As the result indicates, it's an interim analysis, which means that they will also do analysis at two other time points. Uh, one is when the number of cases reaches 87 and the final analysis will be done when the number of cases reaches 130, 130. Uh, these numbers uh, would have been agreed uh, uh, in consultation with the regulator. The fact that this interim analysis is 80%, but we still have to wait for two more phases. Uh, should we be celebrating? Is this just good uh, preliminary data that we should go on and not read too much into it? Yeah, so you said it right. I mean, it's preliminary data at this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, remember, this vaccine was approved without any efficacy data. Now we have preliminary efficacy data and it's indicating that it's as good a vaccine as any other. Uh, I would not worry too much about, uh, you know, some vaccine being 70%, another being 80%, another being 90%. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that this efficacy data is only for the period for which it is calculated. So the two-month efficacy for this vaccine is 81%. That's all it means. It doesn't mean that it will be 81% in perpetuity. Uh, when the data comes out for 87 cases, maybe it will take four months, five months, six months. I don't know how long it will take. The efficacy may change. I must add that we can't wait for that to really take the vaccine. It's been approved in emergency use. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get my vaccine tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what vaccine I will get because it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think both vaccines have been proven to be safe. Yeah. And at least now I know both vaccines seem to work reasonably well. You know, there is uh, in people's mind some comparison between Covishield and Covaxin. Is there any merit to uh, this should we be focusing on the numbers too much or should we just believe that you know they've both been approved and therefore they're both uh, safe at least yeah so uh, you know remember they were both approved under the same condition there was a slight difference in that so, so the the similarity was that phase three results for neither vaccine was available from india yeah when they were approved for covid shield at least the phase three was available from other countries so on that basis, it was given an approval which was slightly different from the approval given to Covaxin. Yeah. But as far as safety is concerned, safety of both vaccines has been tested extensively. Yeah. Uh, so I know for sure that neither vaccine is going to hurt me. Yeah. How much either vaccine is going to help me, I didn't know that. But at least now I know that uh, both re vaccines are, are reasonably good in terms of, of helping me. Uh, so I'm, I'm not really concerned. 
they're they're very different vaccines right uh covaxin is a is a killed virus vaccine whole virus mm. uh the uh, covi shield is uh, a viral vector vaccine which uses another cold virus mm. uh to make the covid uh, spike protein in our bodies uh, mm. so they work slightly differently uh but they've both now been proven to work you know both vaccines as i said have comparable efficacy mm. uh for the trial period that we're looking at mm. yes there are scientific differences between the two vaccines simply because they are different platforms uh but those differences are more academic differences mm. they're not really something that the population should worry about mm. and frankly at this point we don't even know whether one gives you a more long lasting response than the other simply because there hasn't been enough time that these vaccines have been administered and analyzed so we don't know it for either i mean there is there is enough data now for both vaccines mm. to tell us that neither vaccine will hurt us yeah. and both vaccines are going to help us mm. uh to a reasonable extent yeah. long term data is not available for either of these vaccines or for that matter any vaccine being deployed yeah. anywhere in the world and that's simply because we are for the first time deploying vaccines to stop a pandemic message needs to go out loud and clear that if a vaccine is available to you go get it mm-hmm. uh don't worry too much about it and second is even after you get a vaccine continue to wear a mask uh it's not that you will be protected immediately after you get poked in your arm it will take a little time for immunity to build yeah. yeah and and how long will immunity build again that depends on person to person or things like that no so it's it's known that after the first shot it takes a couple of weeks for uh the immune response to come up maybe about 2 weeks or so but that that immune response is short lived so you need to get a second shot mm. and once you get the second shot uh, within about 7 to 10 days you get a peak response mm. and that response is much longer lasting than the response you get after the first mm. dose so that's why both doses are required uh and uh, if it's available to you go get it but i would say that people who have certain medical conditions mm. must go and check with their physician yeah. uh don't talk to your neighbor about it talk to your physician that's important